chapter 17, so more algebra for us. This time it's asking us to factorise. Normally we know what factorise means, factorise means to put into brackets. So we've got to spot the common factor. Well, if I just write this out in longer terms, you don't need this, but it's just kind of maybe going to help us. That should be a y. So x plus y squared means that one's repeated, minus 2x minus y. And what you've got to spot is that here we've got, oops, here we've got uh, a bracket x minus y, and either one of these, it doesn't matter which, we've got brackets x minus y. So that is our common factor. So we're going to put that at the front. That's what we're going to put at the front, the whole thing in a bracket. And then what we've got left with, I'm just using big brackets to help me out, I've got the three brackets x minus y minus 2. So you can just check if I multiply that out, I'm going to get the same expression at the top. Um, so I'm going to then just keep the x plus x minus y as my factor at the front. And then all I'm going to do inside this bracket, the big square bracket, I'm going to have 3x, 3 times x, minus 3y, 3 times y, minus 2. And we don't really need our big square brackets, so we can just write it x minus y, 3x minus 3y, minus 2. Um, but you've got to spot that in front. You've got, I mean, if you, it would be a real mess if you uh, multiplied all this out and tried to simplify it. It's going to be much, much trickier than just doing, trying to find, I'll see that these two are the common factors. There should be a minus y in there, I don't know why that didn't come out. Okay. First thing we've got to spot that this is a divide here first. So we're going to do KFC, keep flip change, or, or just how you multiply fractions. We're going to flip the second upside down. But before I do that, I'm going to rewrite it. So this first fraction, I'm going to factorize to make my life easier. So I know this is going to go to double brackets. And then this is going to be divided by 1 over well, I'm going to factorise this one first because it's easier, and actually it's going to help us out, and you'll see why as the question goes on. So I'm going to factorise 3x there, common factor here, and then that's going to be x um, plus 3, isn't it? Now that bit's important, this x plus 3 bracket's important because it's going to help us to factorise this. And we don't know for sure, but spotting this, if you think ahead about what's going to happen, we might want to be cancelling fractions, or cancelling factors, sorry. So, let's, let me see. So, I'm going to take a, a, a guess that one of these brackets is going to be the same as one of these. It's not always the case, but let's guess. I have x plus 3 here, which means this must be plus 3 times minus 5. Now, if that's true, if I've got this right, let's just check. 2x squared minus 5x plus 6x is x, that's right. And minus 5 times 3 is minus 15. So what I'm really going to do is have 2x minus 5, x plus 3 here. But I'm going to turn it to a multiply because I know how to do that. And that's going to be 3x over x plus 3 here all over y, and I don't really need that. But what happens when we multiply fractions? We go across the top, and then we're going to go across the bottom. X plus 3. And then you can see y here, I did this one first, because this is going to be the same as this. And you can see that that's going to cancel with that. And therefore simplify it into 3x over 2x minus 5. Now just compare it to what we had here, and the question is the clue. Something times x on top, something times x, and another number on its own here. It just happens that c is going to be negative in this case. And we're finished.